Hi Scorpio, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your October prediction. So we're going to look into your general energy, love and career. Don't know why I'm clapping, I always do that. <laughs> um, this is my new setup, hope you like it. I'm going for more cozy vibes, but I hope you like it. And I hope this resonates with you guys because I haven't done one of these in quite a long time. Thank you for being patient with me and let's get started. So for you guys, I'm a Scorpio, so I'm very excited to do this really. So let's get started to see what Scorpios need to know in the month of October. My foot just randomly buzzed, my, my leg is randomly buzzing. That is so random, okay, cool. I'm also getting the, uh, I'm also getting the song Lollipop by Mika. So I don't know if anybody is relating to that, but I'm getting that real hard. And also getting Brother Bear as well. Brother Bear and I'm on my way. Ooh, I like that. And speaking of songs, we have music. Uh, number 32. <laughs> and synchronicities. That's so ironic. Synchronicity. We have parenting. And we also have, we have quite a few cards for you guys. So I'm just going to pull out all of them. Patience. communication and we also have individuality and underneath we have time out okay so which is 11 and 37 which is 11 and 10 or 2 and 10 because 1 and 1 equals 2 okay so we have a lot of cards here i do see an element of you focusing on your solar plexus because we've got two orange or two yellow uh two three two orange sorry and one red so for you guys i feel like music is going to be really really important and music is going to cut synchronicity is going to come through music which is funny because i just um thought of some songs for parenting i feel like it's really important to parent yourself if you are a parent there's going to be a lot of kind of a lot more what's that word a lot more focus with you being a parent for some reason so i'm gonna have a look into that and see kind of what it says in the book for that and also patience so this is really resonating with me so i'm gonna have a look into that as well in terms of patience communication you could actually be waiting on communication from a certain person and just to let you know to have patience with that and to also have patience with your communication you may have struggle with communication you may have struggle with kind of getting things out so if you guys are kind of worrying about that just let you know have patience um, and to let you know that it's really important for you to be communicative in a clear, concise way. And your the way you communicate is very individual to who you are. So it's really important for you to set your boundaries, be very clear about communication. I feel like communication is going to be quite like this, like bashing together. So you may have a few arguments this month, but just to let you know that it's fine. Just relax, try and not to take it out on other people. <laughs> and just have your own space, you know, as much as you can. Um, yeah, as I said, music is going to be very important, so if you need some time out, get yourself listening to some music, um, pump up the jam, <laughs> getting, pump up the jam, pump it up, <laughs> and uh, synchronicity, so you're going to get a lot of synchronicities this month, um, and 8 plus 7 is 15, and 5 plus 1 is 6, so number 6 is going to be prominent for you, 6, 3 and 2, and 2 could also represent, um, uh, uh, um, a relationship coming in as well so have patience with a relationship coming in and oh my god it's got really really hot so I definitely feel like that's a thing like a relationship coming in you've got to have a lot of patience with that because there may be someone coming in as well um so maybe someone coming in from the past and also a new person and getting this and this so it could be they could one person could come in from the past and then a new person could come in like the day after and you're like oh my god nobody for like 10 years and now that like, it's like two people like what the hell um which is crazy so i definitely want to have a look into patience and parenting because i feel like those sorry i got really itchy nose i'm not picking my nose i promise um i feel like those two are very synchronistic and am i in focus i think i'm in focus so parenting which is 63 this doesn't have to be if you're a parent this can just be you parenting yourself as well um so i hope you guys don't mind me pulling from the book but i quite like it because you get a few more messages coming through this card indicates you have a natural gift for parenting and working with children. Perhaps you, have, perhaps you have a child or children of your own. Or maybe there are children with your... Oh my god, I can't speak, guys. I've done... I'm trying to do all 12 readings today and it's just... Oh. <laughs> perhaps you have a child or children of your own or maybe there are children with... In you... Oh, okay. 
Perhaps you have a child or children of your own, or maybe there are children within your extended family or circle of friends. Maybe you play the parental role within your relationships with others who tend to behave like children. Whatever the case may be, your ability to teach, nurture and guide the next generation raises the vibration of the world. Every ounce of your time, attention, love and support you invest in a child pays divided, pays, pays dividends down the road. This is a time to honour and embrace the significant role you play in the life of a child. Whether it is your own or that of a partner, neighbour, relative, client or friend, don't underestimate the importance of your unconditional love and guidance because even a small gesture can have a massive impact on a child's life. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonise with the natural rhythm and circles of your life. Cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to spend quality time with children. Go out of your way to brighten the child's day, give your attention freely and know that a little goes a long way. By investing in the younger generation, you invest in the future of humankind. The affirmation for you guys is, I love and nurture children and make the world a brighter place. So for a lot of you, I'm getting quite a massive pain in my head here. So I don't know if you guys are getting headaches, but I've been getting a lot. Like I'm getting a massive pain here and I'm also needing to scratch. Um, I feel like a lot of you are wearing wigs as well for some reason, maybe because of Halloween, but or just you were starting to wear wigs for some reason. I feel like you've only recently been wearing wigs. I don't know why that's coming in. Um, or hats or scarves. Um, also, when I was reading this, I was thinking that you guys need to become more of a child, um, childlike, become more softer. So your energy is a little bit hard right now. So I feel like you need to become more softer and um, just clear your energy, clear it like um run dance play do something fun yeah do something fun that will really really help you to clear it okay and i also want to look into patience as well number two so this card indicates time to stop and enjoy the present moment as nothing more can be done to achieve the outcome you desire rather than take action you're being asked to evaluate your progress and clarify your dreams which will help you to manifest them sooner this card also indicates a need to take your time and pace yourself instead of make instead of making hasty plans and decisions. Failure to do so could result in stress and disappointment. This is an opportunity to focus all your energy and attention on visualizing your dreams, as opposed to pushing against the obstacles standing in your way. Surrender the outcome to the universe and get on with living your life. Allow things to come to fruition in divine order and timing. That resonates with me so hard, <laughs> so hard. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and, har and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles are encouraging you to be patient and still. Stillness is a key to receiving clear and accurate guidance and patience will help you attract the outcome you desire. Your affirmation is, I patiently trust and surrender the outcome to the divine. Beautiful guys, beautiful. I also think this is a lot to do with your um, third eye chakra or crown chakra. So I definitely feel like you guys are gonna get a lot of synchronicity, a lot of downloads. Um, and it's really, really important for you to, when you get those downloads, make sure you're using them for yourself and not for anyone else. Obviously, unless it's an actual message for someone else, use it for yourself. Because I'm really looking at individuality and I feel like you guys really need to focus on that. Um, and focus on giving to yourself. And what does communication mean? Be patient with communication with people. Some people don't un understand you all the time and you have to understand that. Not everyone will understand what you're talking about. So you've got to be patient with those people. If they're annoying you too much, just step away, okay? So I'm getting patience and communication at the same time. So I feel like you're gonna have, you're gonna have to be patient with a lot of people this month, okay? Just because I feel like things are hotting up because this freaking Libra energy. <laughs> I don't like it, guys. I don't know if any of you are getting really irritated, but I'm getting really irritated this month. Um, and if you need to, take some time out and um, yeah, be very self-disciplinary to yourself. So yeah. <laughs> really focus on yourself um and do do things that really help you yeah and just kind of put in the put in the effort towards yourself and that'll really help things to shift and flow and vibrate i'm guessing as well vibrations like get things to move like shake yourself up shake it up do things that are new as well um i definitely see a new cycle happening for you guys in the month of october so and also happy birthday to all my scorpios <laughs> if you're a scorpio this month then happy birthday it's my birthday on Halloween, so I'm very excited. So, I'm a witch. Yes, I am a witch. <laughs> so what's happening for Scorpio's love life um, in the month of October, please? Thank you. I'm definitely getting you guys really going to embrace Halloween this year, which is amazing. I'm seeing you guys possibly are going to dress up as well, which is great. I'd love to see your outfits. If anyone, like, dresses up, 
I want to see. <laughs> so we have the Four of Wands, which is amazing. Perfect start. So foundations, gorgeous. Oh my God. I'm so excited. King of Cups. Yay. This guy keeps following me around. I freaking love this guy. He's so like, mm, mm, sexy. King of Cups is such a sexy person. Whether it's the guy or a girl, just the energy is so sexy. It's like, yeah, I've sorted my shit out. Yeah, I'm ready to have a relationship. <laughs> okay, so we have the uh, Seven of Wands. And then we have the Hierophant. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what else we've got. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seven of Cups. Oh, I like that. So we're going from like the Seven of Wands to the Seven of Cups. I like that. That's a really good combination. Right, you've got a load of cards that came out. You've got the Death card. Gorgeous. Coming out in your own reading. Perfect. Then got the Five of Cups. This little bastard keeps following me around as well. <laughs> Sorry I keep putting myself in this reading. I can just, obviously I can relate because it's my sign, but it just resonates so hard with me. And the Hermit. And then underneath we have the uh, Ten of Swords. Beautiful. As I said, guys, definitely starting a new cycle, which is amazing. And because you're starting a new cycle, it means that new people are starting to come in. They're like gravitating towards you. They're like, ooh. And uh, Venus goes into your sign in... The, on the 8th of October so you can expect some love hopefully hopefully that'd be nice <laughs> but that's for you guys and for myself um so we have the seven of wands and the hierophant so you may have trouble with communicating in terms of a what we're trying to say in terms of commitment okay so commitment might be coming in you may be pushing it away um, or you may be scared so don't be scared guys work on yourself you can do this but I see that you can do this because after that we have the seven of cups so you're actually like do you know what I know I was scared before but now I'm like do you know what I actually would like those options so let me have a look at them and see if I like them it's like you choosing like a bag to buy or like a shoes to buy it's like which one do I want <laughs> like it's like you've been given the opportunity to to purchase something or to have something it's like you're giving yourself the opportunity to look around and see what you would like okay we then have the death card which is you kind of deciding what you would like and then going forward towards it but then we got to leave this we've got to leave this guy behind with the hermit so for some reason this is going to cause you to kind of be introverted why is this oh so old stuff is coming up so there may be somebody coming back from the past who causes you to feel like this but I sense this is you just this is residual energy I'm getting this is residual energy from the past this is you letting it go I'm getting like um you know I'm getting like scooby-doo um and I'm getting like when they pull the mask off the evil person and they're like oh my god it's Mr Bob <laughs> like Mr whatever you know I'm getting that and I'm feeling like that's your um stripping the old mask that you used to wear and you're kind of releasing that and I love that that's like so Halloween vibe isn't it like wearing masks I feel like you're really going to be doing that it's almost like you're releasing the monster from the wardrobe and you're letting him come out and you're like come on out and then you're like go away <laughs> it's like you're looking at what's going on and you're like okay I acknowledge that and I release it and you're allowing it to go through which is amazing because you're giving yourself the space to actually look at it and think hmm do I want this anymore no <laughs> I want it to go away um yeah so I think I want to kind of clarify what this is about what's this five of cups about this could just be how you're feeling in terms of your love life just could be feeling a little bit kind of down yeah okay so maybe an offer but you may not want it I see two people coming in though guys so I do see options for you and we also got the page of pentacles so it could be somebody to do with work or it could just be a new opportunity that you're just kind of having to think about and you're just not too sure you may be scared i just got you may be scared because you're scared of it being like the like the past like before you're worried about cycles repeating and that's not going to happen guys don't worry about it okay um don't be scared let your heart open okay so that is to do with love beautiful that's a beautiful reading guys you've got really positive reading um so and have patience i got i just got have a little patience <laughs> i'm sorry for my singing i just i can never like explain the song unless i sing them <laughs> have a little patience i take that definitely be patient with communication because i definitely feel like there's a lot of a lot of that coming through okay whoa okay i don't like these 
Do you know what? No. <laughs> Do you know what? No. I don't like those. So let's have a look in career. I feel like a lot of you are investing in a house. Um, and possibly a lot of you are applying to go to a marathon or something. Applying for a marathon or the Olympics, maybe. Uh, the moon in reverse. We've got the seven of cups in reverse. The moon in reverse. This is you and your career section. There might be two options. You may be wanting to quit, but you don't know whether to quit or not. You may want to move to a different department, but you're thinking, is it going to be worth it? Five of Wands. Ace of Cups. Gorgeous. This guy keeps popping out really randomly in these readings. Like, it's like negative, negative, confusing, and it's like Ace of Cups. It's like sudden realisation. And we've got the Four of Pentacles, if it wants to focus. No? Okay. <laughs> Gonna, my focus is going to be as stubborn as a four of, four of pentacles. Two of cups. God, this is so random. <laughs> and then we've got the knight of swords with the hangman underneath. And I'm feeling like that sun's poking out. So I feel like the sun is going to start poking out from the clouds, which is really, really good. Love that for you. So with the knight of swords underneath, rushing. You may want to rush into something, but it may not be the right time yet. But it will, when it's the right time, it will be really, really quick, okay? So you may think, God, this is freaking slow. Why is nothing happening? And then boom. <laughs> boom, something happens. I don't know what that boom is, but maybe whatever you're wanting, that's the boom, okay? And then we've got the, uh, said, the seven of cups in reverse and the moon in reverse. So this, along with the five of wands, is basically telling me there's a lot of emotions coming up around work. You may think I'm stuck. I have no options. What the frick frack do I do? Um, and you're possibly just very confused, like your emotions are kind of getting in the way of how you want to proceed. So just be calm, embrace it, you know, embrace it and let it flow. Um, and we also have the Ace of Cups. So there is something that is going to turn around. So whatever you, if you're feeling stuck, have patience and communicate clearly and be who you want to be in this situation. Okay. And if you need to take time out. Uh, and say look, what, uh, look for synchronicities and for music possibly use music to calm down chill out and also i feel like this is the time to save up for for something if you want to save up and once you do save up or once you do kind of commit yourself to something i do see you being very very happy this could also be um a contact with a gemini uh someone coming back from the past or you meet somebody who you really really like okay which i do see being very very successful okay um don't hold back if there is somebody who you are interested in don't hold back because i see this is very good like we have the ace of cups then we have the four of pentacles then we have the two of cups so it's like oh my god wow oh i'm not sure yeah okay <laughs> that's proper scorpio that's like oh i don't know i don't know i don't know and you're like ew no go away from me and you're like oh my god i love you so yeah, that's career as well. So I definitely see love and career blending in with each other. But I do see a lot of movement happening with the Knight of Swords, which is absolutely amazing. For you guys, I'm going to pull you one more card, which is, yeah, I'm going to pull you, I want to pull you any unicorn cards. Okay, let me pull you some unicorn cards. So we have, I'm going to pull you a unicorn card from Dorian Virtue deck. We have happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. Okay, so really focus on happiness. I love that. We have the sun coming up from the clouds, which is kind of what I said about the sun card as well, which is really pretty. We have practice. The best way to get good at a skill is to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. I always used to hate that phrase. I used to be like, Ugh, I don't want to practice. Just give me the goods. <laughs> I want it now. Now. <laughs> like that girl in um, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. She's like, I want a pony. I want it now. <laughs> Leadership. Step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower, and empower others. So that's just another general message for you guys. And then underneath the deck, I feel like it has to do with the moon card for some reason. <clears throat> this is possibly you stepping into a leadership role and not hiding how you really feel about things. And we have rebirth, which is gorgeous because we had the death card earlier. So rebirth, reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams, create a new reality. Beautiful. And that's where all the synchronicities are going to come in. 
I feel like flowers are going to be a really good synchronistic thing for you. So if I feel like for a lot of you, if you see like those videos, you know, where you have like a flower time lapse and it goes from like a bud and it, start, it starts to grow, but it, it's sped up. I feel like a lot of you, that's going to be a sign for you uh, that you're growing and expanding and you're reinventing yourself and you're becoming like a new person, which is really nice. I see you coming becoming from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Um, so I really love that. And I just see expansion and growth and things like that. So, and you're spreading your wings and becoming who you are and you letting people see your wings. Like you're not hiding them anymore, which is really, really nice. And I'm seeing just like, you're embracing more colors into possibly your wardrobe and you're embracing more colors, possibly into makeup as well. And possibly your jewelry, maybe you're wearing more like colorful jewelry. I just feel like there's more color around you. And I feel like you're coming out of a death process. It's been quite a long time for some of you guys, um, especially to do with just your mood. Possibly you've had depression for quite a long time. And I feel like you, you're coming out of that. Um, could be to do with your relationships as well and you're coming out of that. So, have patience. Love you guys so much. We've also got 2121, so that's going to be a significance for you as well too. Okay, so also I'm getting the um, same, this is the same for Pisces. Um, so if you're dealing with a Pisces, that could be synchronistic for you. I'm seeing a black cat, so that would make, sh that would make sense because of Halloween. But also, if you embrace the, um, I feel like some of you, a black cat could be your spirit animal. Or just look out for a black cat because they're very lucky from what I'm feeling. Um, it's almost about death and rebirth as well, which is really, really good. And almost looking death in the eye and saying, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna reinvent myself, you know? It's like when people are scared of spiders. And I recently discovered this, that because people are scared of spiders, it's almost like it's being scared of your shadow self because spiders are to do with your shadow self. So I think that's really cool. Because now I'm like, I don't want to be scared of spiders anymore because I don't want to be scared of my shadow self. It actually has made a lot of difference. It's, I've, I've been working on my emotions a lot. Like when I see spiders, I'm like, do you know what, guy? I'm going to leave you there. But sometimes they do freak me out when they're big, fat, hairy ones. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If this resonated with you, please get a big old thumbs up and comment down below. Uh, please do that if you would like to. Also, I'm getting 222 on the clock as well. Um, and... Yeah, it gives traction to my channel, so I really appreciate that. Uh, subscribe. Uh, if you'd like a private reading, all the information is down below. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Happy birthday to all my Scorpios, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys.